Today, it's race day for the Western States 100. It's a dream come true to be on this start line. When Tom was growing up, he was always very determined to be the best at what he enjoyed doing. Any challenge he undertakes, he always believes that he's going to achieve it. He came in and, you know, very, I guess very naively said, I want to be the world's greatest ultra endurance athlete. I'm Tom Evans, and this is my story. I've always said that, oh, like I'm a, if anyone's asking, oh, what do you do for a living? It's like, oh, I'm in the British Army, but as of like, what, five days ago, I'm now not. It's like, what do I write on my like, tax, which is forms, professional athlete? Like, for me, that's the dream come true. My running started when I was at school. Harry Hastings was my first running coach and teacher. We had some amazing times, difficult times, and also some great fun, both in the classroom and on the sports pitch. So Tom Evans got back in touch with me about a couple of years, maybe three, four years ago, after he'd had his great success at the Marathon de Saab. And I'd heard about this, suddenly there was this this guy, Tom Evans, coming third at the, you know, the Marathon de Sub, which is quite extraordinary. But was I surprised? It sounds slightly ridiculous to say I'm not surprised, but I'm not surprised having coached him from he, when he was 11, 12, 13. I think what he's been really good at is he's always had this, this, this goal, whether it was to win a medal at the Nationals for 13 year olds, or whether it's to win the, you know, this, you know, a, a big race to be the best endurance runner in the world. He's, he's got his goal, but he really understands the strategy, the process, this is what we need to do to get there. In order to get here, I've got to get this right. Being a good runner is now not enough to be a full-time athlete. For me, I want to leave no stone unturned and be as professional as I can in every aspect of my performance. I feel incredibly fortunate to be part of such an amazing trail running team with Adidas Terex. The different personalities in the team are incredibly motivating. And when we're on training camps with each other, to be able to train together and then have some food, have a coffee with them afterwards. Gives you a great distraction outside of training and really helps to improve my performance as an athlete, but then also for the other athletes. <laughs> Family is so important for me and I'm incredibly lucky to have such a generous and supportive family. After hard sessions or hard training camps overseas, it's so nice to come back home and become grounded. You see kind of Tom on these magazines, um, which is great and it is really good to see that he's doing so well. But at the same time, like Tom said, you come back and see each other and it is like we are, like nothing's changed sort of thing. Nowadays, for Tom, when he comes home, home is somewhere where he can, he can just be Tom. He's not Tom the ultra runner, he's not Tom the captain in the British Army. He's, he's just my little boy. I think a lot of people forget that for 90% of the time we're just normal people, like 
yes, you go and run 100 mile races and yes, we're always racing across the world and stuff, but actually, you know, 99% of the time, we just sit on the sofa, we watch telly, we have two dogs that come up on the sofa, you know, we want to move house and I keep talking about rescuing some chickens and having chickens in the garden and so, you know, things like that and, you know, you get annoyed with me because I leave nail varnish everywhere and so a lot of the time we are just, we're just normal and I think, you know, we like to be able to come back from training, shut the front door and then kind of forget that, you know, you're Tom the runner and I'm Sophie the triathlete, we're just two people that are now chilling in the evening. I think that's really important for us that we have, we have that separation of our athlete life and our normal everyday lives. I would hope if you ask Tom, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how important is family? I would really hope that he would say family's at least a 10 or 11. It, it's, it's home. There are lots of different skills you need to be to be the best trail runner in the world. For me, I think my strength is my ability to suffer and to be able to hurt when I'm on the trails and give absolutely everything that my body can give in training and on race day. We know what the longer term goal is. We know where we're heading and what the heartland and the likely sweet spot for Tom is, is going to be. But this year we thought to give it a go in what is one of the most iconic and well-known uh, ultra races uh, in the world, the Western States. We have to acknowledge how young he still is in this game and how much of a future he still has ahead of him. As a coach and an athlete, that of course comes quite strongly into our planning of what stages we want to make different decisions around uh, target races and, and what we focus on. When I met Tom Evans for the first time, it was around 12 months ago. Um, he immediately caught my attention because he's so different than other trail runners. And, uh, uh, his background is not this typical trail running story as you know it from so many athletes. It's not a person growing up in an outdoor environment. It's not a person growing up with the mountains. It's even not a person coming with a running background. Uh, he was a rugby player when he was a kid. He was in the army then and then he just started running by accident. And uh, this is definitely a story which caught my attention and um, it is also interesting and so much more interesting um, than having always this kind of a same scenario and we are always looking exactly for athletes with, uh, with this different level, this second level story um, which separates them from all the other trail runners. At the moment he needs to find his sweet spot in the sport quite aware is it a 100k or is it a 100 miler is it a fast terrain or is it more technical terrain and this is what the next one two three years need to bring as a kind of an experience and when tom evans finds this sweet spot he will be hardly to be beaten on the trails Generally, he has been a 100 kilometer specialist, but now he really wants the challenge after only running competitively for a couple of years to run the most famous and the oldest 100 mile race in the world, which is the Western States 100. So I want to be there to support him. It's a massive, massive race in his life. And so I'll put everything to one side at work and I will go and plan basically to support him with a crew, supporting him through that 15 or 16 hours of running 
um, and I'm really excited about it. I think he's got huge potential to do amazing things and so I want to make sure I'm there to support him in the best way that I possibly can. For this year, the main goal was always going to be Western States. After only two years of training in my legs, I felt like I was in a good position where I could challenge them on the trails. My first 100 miler was always going to be Western States. It's the original 100 miler and plays a huge part in ultra running history. At the top of the escarpment, we hit some snow. This year, the temperature didn't get as hot as it normally would, which some people saw as an advantage, but for me, it was a disadvantage as I had prepared well for the heat. I had an amazing support team during the race who were crewing me at separate locations. In ultramarathons, things are gonna to get tough and having that support around you is really important. 100%. Halfway into the race, I was in fifth place when I collected my pacer. The pacer in this race isn't there to set times like they may in a marathon, but more to keep you company on the trails. Having friends and family out on the race course was really motivating and inspiring for me and kept me working as hard as I possibly can. I'd run a lot of the course before in training with Jordi Gamito and that really helped me to leave no stone unturned so when I got to the race, I knew exactly what to expect. I was still moving well at this point and thought that it was possible to overtake a couple of runners in front. Getting to the track in Auburn in 14 hours and 59 minutes was a dream come true. To be the first European runner to run sub 15 hours and to podium was an amazing experience. So who the hell is Tom Evans? I am Tom Evans, and this is just the beginning.